Hey YouTube, it's Wisconsin Shoe Guy here, and today we're going to do a battle of the short wings. And to, what we're looking at here is a Loke Buckingham against an Eves and Gray Vickers. Now, these are very different shoes. Uh, price points are going to vary a little bit, so um, let's talk about that first so that we know what we're talking about. Uh, this is uh, Eves and Gray Vickers, um, Italian leather, made in Portugal. Um, uh, has the, uh, the the beautiful purple uh, lining, um, sole, etc. Uh, and then you have the uh, the Loke Buckingham made in uh, uh, made in England. Um, has your um, uh, really solid construction. This is part of the Loke 1880 range. Um, so this is your first level in their high quality ranges. Right, uh, not. I mean, they have the Shoemaker range, which is also made in England, which is good, but this is where they actually start uh, taking that extra step in order to make it better. Um, but they have two ranges beyond this, so I think it's important to note that. So, um, which shoe is better? Let's start with uh, sole construction and detail and finish. Okay? If you take a look at the Goodyear Welting, Goodyear Welting is... Uh, at least it feels close. The stitching feels close to the to the um, to the edge of where the shoe is. Now I don't know if that's where. When I get back onto this part here, it certainly feels um, like it's deeper. So maybe that's just because it's starting to wear there. Although I don't get a lot of wear here, and I can feel the stitching. Um, you can see they do this nice finishing work here um, with that pattern that they put in. Uh, if we look at the outside of the edge. Um, you can see that they have done, uh, on the top of the welt, um, you can see the stitching, but I don't see any fudging at all. Uh, you can see that they ironed in the, uh, the, um, the, the side here, um, and they have the, uh, the groove here on the bottom and, uh, and, and none on the top. So that's a little bit of work. They also have this beveled piece here on the welt, which is clearly ironed on the back. You can see on the heel. They put in that nice pattern, okay? This is a leather stacked heel. And then they've got this really cool combination heel with leather. And you can also see that this wears pretty well. Um, you know, I've got a little bit of wear down here, but it's not, uh, it's not bad at all. Certainly not given how much I've worn the shoes. Now you look here, um, they have pretty wide stitching, um, but it is deep inset into the shoe. Um, they also have that same ironing, same heel work, heel stack. I would say that they use narrower heels here. Let's take a look side by side. Let's look. And, oh, I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, um, the Loke uses thicker pieces of leather in the heel stack. Um, Eves and Gray is using thinner pieces, which makes it look um, a little bit more refined. This is a 270 degree weld. This, um, I'm gonna say, this might be a 270 degree weld too, but they don't con they don't bring the edge of the heel in as tight to the shoe. They do a little bit. Neither of these are, are super tight, like you would see on a really high quality shoe either. Um, but definitely narrower heel, um, uh, nar narrower pieces of leather in the heel stack there. Um, let's look at the upper, okay? Um, the upper material, um, I, I noticed in my, uh, my other review that this has some creasing in it. Uh, this has quite a bit more wear uh, and no, I mean, there's some creasing, there's micro creasing is what I'll call it over here, but, um, it does not show like this does. Right. So, um, I'm going to say that the leather quality on the upper, um, is a little bit higher. Now I'm sure this is English leather. Loke is using English material in most of what they do. Uh, this is, uh, even gray uses Italian leather. So I think that's a, that's a big difference. Uh, if we look at the lining, the lining here, I mean, it is leather lining, but it feels more like cloth. Um, it doesn't, uh, uh, it's, it's just a different, uh, 
uh, feel to it, where the lining on the Loke, um, it's not particularly soft, but it's clearly a higher grade of leather uh, than is on the Eves and Gray. So that would be something there. Um, and then um, look at the uh, Brogue detail. And the Brogue detail here is, uh, you know, it's small, it's tight. They do a lot of, I mean, they have the pattern here where it's the, uh, the big circle and then the little cross and then the big circle. I like that. Uh, and that's a design issue that has nothing to do with quality. Uh, but you see here they don't do the uh, they don't do the cross, um, so this looks more kind of like squares, and this has more of an artistic feel to it, kind of like rectangles. So I think that that's uh, that's a stylistic choice, and is certainly you know something that differentiates the shoe. Uh, but I'm going to say that I like the broguing on on this better. Medallion. Um, Gosh, they're both really different medallions and, and both really cool. Um, I'm going to say that uh, on this one, we're going to call that a tie. So um, from a polish standpoint, the way the shoes come, uh, the level of polish that, that's there, um, Eves and Gray, clear winner. Um, they're, uh, they're absolutely better when it comes to the trees themselves, uh, since uh, I happen to have them. Um, these trees are really nice. I like the shape of them really well. I like the fact that they have the, the piece here, but they are not, they are varnished and that varnish does prevent some of it and the paint uh, prevents some absorption. Um, the low trees uh, have more of a lasted feel to them. They are cedar, but I mean, look at this. This has got that nice beveling in it. Uh, which provides more of an air pocket for it to breathe and for the cedar to actually absorb the moisture in the shoe. So I'm going to give Loke the win on those. Now, of course, the, sh the shoe, the, these are, you know, 345 pounds. These are 200 pounds. Um, these come with trees. These do not. Um, so these trees are another 40 pounds. So let's call it 240 versus 345. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, quite a nice shoe uh, on both accounts, uh, but for today, I'm going to give the battle uh, to, uh, it's really tough, but I'm going to give the battle to to look. Um, I think that it's a, uh, for for the money, um, it's a, it's a, it's a very, very high quality shoe, and I'm going to say overall, this is equivalent, and uh, this costs 100 pounds more, so this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and I'm out. Take care.